As we come in the air with our live broadcast at 10 o'clock, Bozeman Tenants United is fighting to establish tenant right to legal counsel in the city. NBC Montana's Brianna Carroll spoke with organizers to find out what they hope to accomplish, as well as a local attorney about the impact it could have if they succeed. Nationwide, tenant right to counsel has been established in 17 cities, including New York, San Francisco, and Denver, as well as in five states. And right now, Bozeman Tenants United is working to add the city of Bozeman to this map. Our data says that last year in 2023, there were like 200 evictions in Bozeman, and that's obviously more than one every two days, which is kind of ludicrous. Barrett McQuestion is an organizer with Bozeman Tenants United. They've been collecting data on evictions in Gallatin County, and he says in most cases, tenants did not have legal representation, while their landlords did, causing more people to become unhoused and exacerbating the city's housing crisis. It's a matter of getting to the root cause rather than applying band-aids and band-aids and band-aids over and over. This is something that would actually have really tangible benefits for renters across Bozeman immediately. Lack of legal representation for tenants is not uncommon in the U.S. The ACLU says nationwide landlords have legal representation about 81 percent of the time during eviction proceedings, compared to just 3 percent of the time for tenants. Tenant right to legal counsel aims to address the disparity by putting the responsibility on local government to ensure tenants have equal access to representation. I have a lot of landlord clients. We like to work with the other party, but I will say it's really nice when the other side uh, has an attorney and then we can be objective about it. We can talk through the issues and come up with a solution that works for everyone. Charlie Cromwell practices law in Bozeman. He says when tenants have legal representation, it makes a big difference, eliminating the imbalance in power and making it more likely they'll be able to stay in their homes or negotiate more time to move. And when both parties have an attorney, it can allow them to come to a resolution without having to go to court at all. In an ideal world, you unclog the docket in court, you reduce the number of filings for eviction through pre-eviction negotiation between the parties, and then it saves so much time, so much money, and so much heartache. Cromwell sees firsthand the difference legal representation makes for tenants in the community. Working with a program offering services similar to a tenant right to counsel to Montana State University students dealing with landlord-tenant disputes. We actually rarely have evictions. It's in a program like that, it's usually able to settle prior to going to court and having to deal with getting thrown out on the street. Those outcomes are mirrored in many areas that instituted tenant right to counsel, with eviction filing rates dropping by 10% in San Francisco and 30% in New York City in the year immediately following establishment of the program, according to the National Coalition for a Civil Right to Counsel. In both cities, when tenants were represented in court proceedings, they were able to stay in their homes more than 50% of the time. Bozeman Tenants United is currently pushing for city commissioners to set aside approximately $670,000 from the city's budget to fund two full-time lawyers as well as support staff for the program and eventually pass an ordinance cementing tenant right to legal counsel and city code. Reporting in Bozeman, Brianna Carroll, NBC Montana.